Well, good morning. This is Torino. Today is December 8th. Uh, this episode is 12. And at the risk of boring everybody, a lot of the footage is the same thing over and over. We've been forming up columns, pouring columns, vibrating the cement. At the same time, we're still moving dirt around, uh, leveling off the, the plot, getting ready uh, for some uh, compaction of the, of the dirt where the floor will be. And also, we're lining up our electrical and plumbing plans. We have some high walls now, and I estimated where the, where the ceiling is gonna be in the garage, and it's gonna be 3.2 meters uh, headspace in the garage. So I'm happy about that. That's gonna be a nice, nice tall ceiling. Uh, and we'll have beams across it so I can uh, put any number of, of hoists or anything I need up there. So that's a good deal. Back down to the job site and let you see what's going on. Here is a drawing of the front perspective of the garage. As you can see, I made some markups early on here, and some of this has changed. The basic format will be three steel roll-up doors in the front, a steel door for the entry, and the window I want to make glass block if possible. The drains on the on the roof will actually be three drains on towards the street uh, with the roof slightly sloping to to allow those three drains to evacuate water what you're looking at here is the blueprint for the foundation up in the upper left corner you'll see the outline of a little office I decided to remove that thinking that I'm going to create my own office later and so it'll be easier to to plan the space and I'll just make a, an office out of drywall probably. In the center of the garage I'm going to have a, a sump pump at least one meter deep with uh, about six inches of gravel and that's where I'm going to put my one horsepower electric sump pump in case we get water inundated like we did uh, in, in episode four and five. What we really found out is that we don't, we don't have a high water table here. We're up in the foothills of, of Tayabas and in the mountain here. But uh, in hindsight, what really happened with all that water was a combination of Typhoon Paeng and uh, just severe heavy rains for two weeks. That's where all that water came from. 
having said that, I did install a six inch fringe strain all the way around the perimeter, the inside perimeter of the foundation. We're excavating the outside perimeter of the property for construction of a, a concrete viaduct that's going to intercept any water that's, that could be inundated from the, the rice fields around us. So I'm not really anticipating any more issues with water.